What's up, everyone? It's Bones here. I hope everyone's having a great New Year's, as I'm hoping I was able to end off the year and start the year with a bang. In today's video, I'll be featuring yet another Assault Synchron video, but this time I also want to be doing an update on the Blackwing deck, as we also did get another new support card for it, as I'll show momentarily. But before I begin, if you happen to enjoy content like this, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. The first combo will be probably the most underwhelming if I'm being honest, but it's also only a two card combo. The DD Crows in this video will all just be blank cards, keep that in mind. So we'll start here by normal summoning the Sothri, and this will allow us to get a Blackwing monster to our hand, which will add the Vata. And now we can special summon it, and then use its effect which will allow us to send a Zephyros and the Chinook to the graveyard, along with itself, to go into the Blackwing Dragon. And now from here, we can use the Zephyros effect in order to return our Sithri to hand, and then we'll special summon the Zephyros, use the Assault Synchron here, which will give us a level 2 tuner, which is big here, as we're now able to go into a level 6, which is no thong, and that'll give us the extra normal summon for the Sithri, which will get us the addition of another Blackwing monster as we get the Shamal to hand. From here, we'll use the Shamal's effect, which will place the new Whirlwind onto our field, as we'll use the Sithri effect here to tribute itself and give ourselves a token, a level 2 tuner token, keep in mind, and this will give us a Synchro 8 with the Draco Berserker of the Tenya, and then we can use the new Whirlwind to revive the Vata, and this will allow us to go into our full Armor Master while keeping 3 cards in hand. For this second combo, I want to show off the same 2 cards this time around, except we're going to make a minor change to our combo line, which is adding the Shamal first. And I'm doing this to kind of show both lines of play that you can take with this two-card combo. So from here, we're going to use the Shamal, which will place the new Whirlwind onto our field. We'll be able to special summon the Assault Synchron here. And this is another cool thing that you'll be able to get with the deck as we go into our No Thung. And then the Shamal will be able to get back our Sithri from the graveyard, as we'll then be able to get the extra normal summon off of the No Thung. And this will give us our Sithri. The Sithri will then be able to get the addition of a Vata. And then from here, we have the ability to keep on extending our plays as we can now use the Vata's effect, sending the Zephyros, the Chinook as previously, and we can then go into our Blackwing Dragon while having the Zephyros in the graveyard. We'll also be able to get the Whirlwind effect in order to revive our Shamal from the Banish Zone, and then we'll revive the Zephyros here in order to get our Whirlwind back to our hand so that we can activate it again. And once we have it live again, we can now continue our Synchro plays as we're going to go into our full Armor Master. And then from here, we're going to use the Whirlwind effect to revive the Shamal yet again. And then we can go into our Raid Raptor Y Strix here. And then we can go and Special Summon the Bora. This will give us another level 8 Synchro here as we go into Draco Berserker of the Tenu, giving us a similar board, but with more bodies. Then for the third combo here, and I'll be showing what happens when you get Simone with the Assault Synchron. And this is probably the craziest of the combos because you do get access to Black Whirlwind. But we'll start here by using the Simone, banishing a Blackwing in hand, that Simone could be any Blackwing that you want to banish for this play. And we'll place the Black Whirlwind onto our field as we get to normal summon the Simoon. We'll then get an addition of S3 off the Black Whirlwind. And then we can get the S3 here, Chain Link 1, the Black Whirlwind, Chain Link 2. And this will get us into our Vata plus the Shamal, which with Assault Synchron in hand, you'll see that we have access to the power cards that we've been using previously. We'll now activate the Shamal, placing the second Whirlwind onto our board and then special summoning the Vata. Then we can use the Vata's effect, sending the Zephyros and the Chinook again for the Blackwing Dragon. And now we can use our Black Whirlwind, or the second Whirlwind effect, in order to special summon back the Shamal. And now we'll be able to go into our full Armor Master, as we're now going to use the Zephyros, putting back the Black Feather Whirlwind to our hand. 
then we can activate the whirlwind to make it live again. We're finally going to special summon the assault synchron here as we do need a tuner now and this will allow us to go into the new level 6, the Boreas, and we'll be able to trigger a bunch of effects here with the Boreas, the Black Feather Whirlwind and the Shamal in Graveyard as we're going to bring back the S3 off of the Shamal then revive the Vata off of the Black Whirlwind I believe as if you were to get back Samoon off this effect you would have access to a rank 6 play if you were to get back the Shamal it's basically the same thing as getting back Vata, except Vata gives you more versatility because with Vata you're synchroing up and making things before directly going to a synchro 8 or 10 as you would if you got back Shamal. So from here we're going to send the second new card here, and this one basically becomes a disruption in the graveyard, which is why we're sending it. It's a quick effect and you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up card your opponent controls, destroy it. I want to keep in mind that it's only a quick effect because we do control Blackwing Synchro Monsters. It does also have an effect to Special Summon itself if a monster with more than 2000 attack is on the field. But for the sake of this combo, I just wanted to show how it pairs with Boreas. So from here we're going to Synchro Away into Nothung now and we'll be able to use the Nothung getting us our S3's extra normal summon and we've also been able to absorb a bunch of damage as you see with the Blackwing Dragon which is always nice as if we were playing into time it would mean that your opponent is the one down on life points but we'll be able to get the S3 Chain Link 1 and the Black Whirlwind Chain Link 2 as we get the Oroshi here and we'll also get the Twin Shadow off the S3 as we're now going to Synchro away into Draco Berserker of the Tenyu with the Boreas and the No Thung. And then from here we can special summon the Oroshi, go into Arc Dimension Soldier, which is an option you can play. And I'm doing this because I want to be able to get an extra body on board. And the Oroshi here you can activate if you want. It's not really going to matter as you'll see momentarily. We're going to use the Dark Dimension Warrior in order to bring back our Shamal. And then we can link away the Blackwing Dragon with the Shamal for our IP Mascarena. And then use the Blackwing Dragon and the Boreas for the Blackwinged Assault Dragon. Giving us an end board of IP Mask. Draco Berserker, the Black Winged Assault Dragon, the Dark Dimension Soldier will be used for the Unicorn, summoned off of Mascarena, and then you have the Black Wing, full armor master with one extra card in hand, and the Twin Shadow. And then to back all of that up, you have the new Black Wing Tuner to give you an extra pop as a quick effect. So this final combo will be a three card combo here, and we have the S3, the Assault Synchron, and the Bora. The Bora could really be any other extender, but we're gonna get the Shamal off the S3, getting us the new copy of Whirlwind, and then we can special summon the Assault Synchron here, which will allow us to Synchro 6 into No Thung. Then we can use the Shamal to get back our S3 so that we can get the extra normal summon of S3 off the No Thung, and this will allow us to get us into Vata and give us a Black Wing Dragon off of the Vata, as we've done previously, by using the Vata's effect. So from here we can now use the Black Feather Whirlwind to get back our Shamal, and now we can go and use our Zephyros, putting the Whirlwind back in hand, as we're going to now go into our Blackwing Full Armor Master after activating the Whirlwind in order to get back a body and also have a way to not die to Nib if your opponent doesn't Nib before the Blackwing Full Armor Master, but we'll get back the Vata, go into our Boreas again as we're going to send the new Blackwing to give us the extra disruption. And from here we're going to go into the Full Armor Master with the Boreas, the Blackwing Assault Dragon, Special Summon the Aura, and now we can go into our Evil Swarm Nightmare, and then Synchro away into the Blackwing Assault Dragon with the Blackwing Dragon and the Boreas in our graveyard. We'll also get to keep two extra cards in hand. Definitely one of the longer combo videos next to Synchron that feels like I've done in a while. 
because there's a lot of steps to them. Fortunately, a lot of these cards are years old, so the learning curve isn't that steep. That being said, there is a ton of different ways that you can go about playing this deck, and the options can really be what makes this deck difficult to learn as you try to transition to your playstyle along with the card choices that you want to make when deck building. Because I really don't have much to say about the deck list, as a lot of it is just standard numbers in my opinion. I know some people like to play the two Black Feather Whirlwind, but I think one is fine. I didn't have the Twin Shadow in my last main deck because that was an entirely different build, and with the addition of Assault Synchron, the banning of Mystic Mine, and other stuff like that, changes have been significant to how the deck plays, but not how it looks. So to start with the card by card, we have three so three. The one Chris, the two Bora, the one Oster, the three Samoon, the three Vata, the one Amal, the one Zephyros, the one Harmaton, the one Twin Shadow, the one Chinook, one Waning Moon, the one Oroshi, the three Assault Synchron, the three Magna Huts, the one Saranir, the three Druus Worm, the three DD Crows, the one Black Feather Whirlwind, the three Black Whirlwinds, and the three Allure of Darkness to round out the main deck. Onto the extra deck, we have Unicorn, Y Strix, IP Mascarena, the Black Winged Assault Dragon, the two Full Armor Masters, the one Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss, which is something that you can make with Black Winged Assault Dragon and the Hiroshi. And we have the one Ascendant, the one Black Winged Dragon, the one Draco Berserker, the one Nothung, the one Boreas, one Dark Dimension Soldier, the one Four Strix, and the one Wallow to round out the extra deck. Lastly, for choices, Abyss Dweller, Zeus, Evil Swarm Nightmare are all options, same thing with Gozen in, in the side deck. Some builds can also play Vayu because of the Boreas. Gale is still a free special summon, so depends on how you want to approach the deck, and constructing it, and taking the play lines you want to play. This was always just meant to be a template for you to start with finishing your own product. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. It's Bones, signing out.